Hello guys, welcome to my channel. In this lecture, I am going to teach about classification of partial differential equation of second order in three independent variables. So let's get begin. Suppose x, y and z, these are three independent variables and u be a function of x, y and z. That means u is a dependent variables upon these three independent variables. As we are going to talk about partial differential equation of second order, so first we write the general form of general form of PD of second order in three independent variables so it can be written as del 2 u upon del x square del 2 plus del 2 u upon del y square plus del 2 u upon del z square plus del 2 u upon del x into del x y plus del 2 u upon del x into del z plus del 2 u upon del y into del z plus del u upon del x plus del u upon del y plus del u upon del z plus u is equal to 0. In this portion the constant may be any real number so this is the general form of second order PDE in three independent variables here we have taken each constant as one now we know that del 2 u upon del x into del y is equal to del 2 u upon del y into del x that means it can be written as u x y in the suffix is equal to u y x in the suffix y x so this is the fact we know now we are going to see the method of classification of PDE so in the process of classifying we have to first make a matrix A of order 3 by 3 having the coefficient or having the element like coefficient of uxx that means coefficient of del 2 u upon del x square and coefficient of uxy that means coefficient of del 2 u upon del x into del y coefficient of u x z that means coefficient of del 2 u upon del x into del z similarly we can write all elements here like so this is the matrix a of 3 by 3 order and this is a matrix of symmetric form because here u x y is equal to u y x so both number will be equal and uxz and is equal to uzx so both these number will be equal similarly both these number will be equal so this is a symmetric matrix and now we are going to see the classification of this type of pd into elliptic parabolic and hyperbolic so conditions are if determinant of this matrix A is equal to 0 that means if one eigenvalue one eigenvalue is equal to 0 then the, that PD will be of the form in parabolic second if all eigenvalues of A 
all eigenvalues of A are of same sign that means either positive or either negative then this type of PD will be elliptic all eigenvalues of A are of same sign then PD will be elliptic and in the 3 if if all eigenvalues of A are of same sign except one eigenvalue then the PD will be hyperbolic that means if A, B and C are the eigenvalues then both numbers or two of these number will be of same sign and the third one will be of opposite sign for example a and b are of positive sign and c will be of negative sign then this type of pd will be in hyperbolic form now we are going to take some examples and check whether it is elliptic or parabolic or hyperbolic so the first example we will write here the question is classify uxx plus uyy is equal to uzz so first we have to make a matrix A of 3 by 3 order here we have to write coefficient of uxx which is here 1 coefficient of uxy is 0 coefficient of uxz is 0 coefficient of uyx is also 0 and coefficient of uyy is 1 first we have to write this pd in one side from that means uxx plus u yy minus uzz is equal to 0 so we have to take in rhs 0 now here the coefficient of uyz which is also 0 coefficient of uzx is 0 coefficient of uz y0 and coefficient of u zz is minus 1 so we know that this is a diagonal matrix and the these elements are eigenvalues so eigenvalues is 1 1 and minus 1 so the two eigenvalues are of same sign and the third eigenvalues is of opposite sign that means it is of hyperbolic form now we are going to take the second example question is classify the PD u x y plus u y y plus u z z plus u y z plus u z y is equal to 0 here it is given in the RHS 0 so we have to form first in the solution the matrix A so matrix a will be as coefficient of uxx here uxx is not present so coefficient will be 0 
coefficient of sorry in the question it is u x x here so coefficient of u x s will be 1 coefficient of u x y which is not present so 0 coefficient of u x z which is not present 0 coefficient of u y x so it is a symmetric matrix so here it is 0 coefficient of u y y is 1 coefficient of u y z is 1 and coefficient of it is it will be 0 here because it is symmetric so both these numbers will be equal and here also 1 and coefficient of u z z is 1 so this is a matrix a we have to check what is the what are the eigenvalues of a so we can see these two rows are dependent because these two rows are same so we know the determinant will be equal to 0 that means one of the eigenvalue must be 0 so this is of parabolic type now we are going to take the last example example number 3 question is classify u x x plus u y y plus u z z is equal to 0 here the in r h s the number is 0 so we have nothing to do in the solution the matrix a is coefficient of u x s which is 1 coefficient of u x y 0 coefficient of u x z 0 because it is symmetric so this will come here and this will come here here coefficient of u y y which is 1 and coefficient of u y z which is not present so will be equal to 0 and both these numbers equal to 0 so 0 and coefficient of u z z is 1 so this is a identity matrix having all eigenvalues as 1 so all eigenvalues are of same sign that is of positive sign so this will be of elliptic type so i hope you understood the classification of pd of second order in three independent variables